Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salati wa salam ashraf al mursaleen Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Bi madadakum wa nazarakum Sayyidina Rasul Kareem ya Habib al Azeem. Fati Allah, Ati Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdik al ajis al da'if al miskeen al zalim al jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah for this blessed month and blessings to all those whom watching, participating and following this blessed path of muhabbat, ishq, love and good manners to draw us near to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and to be a, a weak servant and admit our weakness and to efface ourselves and bring ourselves to be nothing. Nothing in the presence of Allah in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad in the presence of awliyaullah fi samai wa fil ard. Alhamdulillah that Allah bringing us on this caravan of ishq and muhabbat and the immense realities of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad in this holy surah, the 27th surah on this third lunar month we get to the point of Sayyidina Sulaiman receiving a letter and or sending a letter out to the Queen of Shiva Bilgis and in that letter comes for us the secret of, Inna huwa Sulaiman wa inna huwa Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem means that we entered this journey on the First lunar month, Surah Tawbah, the ninth surah of Holy Qur'an and no Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem because the entry to that is Bismillah Allahu Akbar that to get rid of the bad character, sacrifice ourselves, live a life of sacrifice in which we want to sacrifice our character for the benefit of Allah benefit of Sayyidina Muhammad not to benefit Allah but from satisfying Allah for what He wants for us to be the benefit of humanity. And that's what we talked about last night that all of creation sacrificing itself. That the trees allow you to cut them, to burn them for warmth, cut them for your furnishing and for your home and for your house and eat of its fruits and everything you take from nature it doesn't hit you back, it doesn't ask you for a receipt, it doesn't do anything of a hisab for you but it shows us live a life of service that serve humanity and that's khidmat khalq how to live a life of khidmat and to serve without asking for something back, without expecting something in return. And this is the example that the ant had, the creation has. All of Allah's creation and nature give the perfect example of khidmat. The tree you hit it and it gives you fruit, you cut it and it gives you warmth. Allah could have put a mouth on the tree. That every time you hit it the branch come and hit you back like in the, the Lord of the Rings movie. As soon as you bothered the tree he got up and pa! Can you imagine every time you go through nature you do something wrong <laughs> that nature smack you, don't know where you got hit from? Oh they of course they could be angry if Allah wanted them to be angry. But Allah gave for us, I teach you from within yourself and upon the horizon. The horizon can be right in front of the nose of creation. That we see that example in everything around us trying to serve Allah with the best of character. So when people are wondering, what's all this talk about character, why, why you don't study this fiqr and that fiqr? This knowledge without good character is of absolutely no value. It's not a knowledge that increases Allah but the knowledge is supposed to give something to your character so that your soul's power is increasing. So the only way that knowledge has benefit is when the servant has good character. So we look all around and Allah drawing our attention in this immense month of realities 
that, look at my creation they all have amazing gifts far superior to your gift unless you fine tune your reality and bring yourself to your reality. And so alhamdulillah we see that example in everything in our life that when we walk through nature and that's why so many people are pleased with nature. They find a sense of immense peace, immense ocean of submission. We say its immensity is something that can't be understood that as soon as a servant walks upon a forest and a mountain they have their own internet. Every vein of every tree, of every root, of every flower is interconnected and it is in complete communication with each other. Every tree knows that a servant has entered onto that or an oppressor has entered onto that domain, onto that mountain or into that forest. So they have a communication system. Allah describes, none know it but the man of tafakkur, yusabbihu wa bihamdi. That everything has a praise of Allah none of you know it but the people of tafakkur because we talk that the tafakkur leads them to open their spiritual, that they begin to open their ruhaniyat and their spiritual light. And when they operate from their world of light, when they call upon their soul's energy and the abundance of their faculties, when their heart became the house of Allah Allah's light went into their ears and into their eyes and into their breath, means Allah empowered their soul on this earth. As a result with their light they merely begin to reflect that light out and the, the, the common denominator in everything is energy and light. No matter its form is a squirrel, is a duck, is a giraffe, is a tree. It has a, a light reality because you only see the form and then that light breaks down into an energy reality. So it's an energy that is making that light to appear and when that light appears you see its form and its appearance. So when you operate from the world of light and energy as soon as they enter into an environment every energy is communicating. The tree has a communication we said they don't open that until the last days. And some servants Allah opened it for them for, for the hikmah of what Allah wants. But when they're operating from their soul they enter into a forest, they can hear the trees and their communication. That they can communicate the kingdom of Sayyidina Sulaiman and this is only a drop of the kingdom of Sayyidina Muhammad This only to give us an understanding of that kingdom when that Allah want to open your hearing, open your seeing, open your breath, open your senses and your feet and your qadam and your movement so much so that you become Rabbaniyoon and that your will is matching the will of Allah and you merely kun fayakun, means you're not manifesting your power for a parking space but you're manifesting your power to the will of Allah which then has no limit. That's why when they put their heart into something begins to open and that's why Allah warns believers, be careful for what you wish for, you know, what you're putting in your heart it's manifesting, you know it, you don't know it, you're angry with somebody, you're happy with somebody, you're asking for things and these things will begin to manifest or the destiny that you're asking for begins to manifest. Many things open for people and they're astonished and surprised or frightened by what they were asking for. So it means that this power of light and this power of energy is immense. They can look to the flowers and they can hear the dhikr and the tasbih of the flowers and what their praise is to Allah and what their benefit is. So this is the way of tip and nubuwa that the real prophetic medicine was that the support of Sayyidina Muhammad would open the heart of awliyaullah and everything would give itself to teach them. When they wanted to understand astronomy they were astonished that how these, these scientists of old which we call them awliya, saints, how they knew the perfect geometry when they didn't leave their station. 
Or because Allah brought the earth to them and began to rotate for that and the earth explained itself to that wali. When they wanted to understand about the sun, the sun appears to them and begins to rotate and teach its reality to that awliya. So then they were documented and they were astonished how these Muslim scholars knew all these things. Oh, because they are a servant to the creator of the entire kingdom of God. So when Allah wants, He makes that kingdom to come and serve that creation. So there the, the power that Allah opened from this Sulaimaniya understanding is immense. That now today there are awliya who the virus appears to them and comes and shows itself that this is who I am, this is my reality. So it's not something uh, astonishing, everything is under the mulk of Allah the, the, the flowers will tell itself what it does and what its reality is. At that time they have the tip and nubu and the healing that it would tell the servant of Allah its remedy that use me for such and such or don't use me because of my poisonous nature for such and such. So it means for everything was immensity. The creatures of Allah can communicate to them and convey what their purpose, what their understanding, what their benefit. So alhamdulillah even is in hadith of Prophet that how the pebbles were speaking and making zikr, how the, the stump of wood was crying when Prophet was not sitting upon it. So these are the, the prophetic reality and, and the prophetic sunnah. This immensity of this kingdom is then something that Allah inspire within our hearts that move into that reality. So when that letter appears, inna huwa Sulaiman wa inna huwa Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem that this inna huwa Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem is the secret and the dress that Allah want to dress the people who are entering into this ocean of marifah. That you entered in in Surat Al Tawbah, that you put yourself and put your head upon the table, Ya Rabbi sacrifice my bad character and don't let it stop. Let it only be completed when you're satisfied that this bad character and this badness leaves me and what you see of me is something that your rida and your satisfaction is pleased with. Then they entered from Surah Tawbah into Surah Al-Kahf and they asked to enter into this cave of realities and this dress of reality and then opened the 27th month and the birth of Muhammadun Rasulullah and the Mila the Nabi is that birth of reality within the heart of the servant. That, ya Rabbi my light is not going to go anywhere. My light and my ability is not going to do anything Ya Rabbi, let me to be victorious, let the light of Sayyidina Muhammad wa fiikum that his light is within me Ya Rabbi, ignite it, ignite that love, ignite that, that reality so that the light of Sayyidina Muhammad within me begins to blossom, begins to be activated, that begins hudan becomes a guidance for me, becomes one whom defending me and inspiring me It's immensity that Allah wanted us to activate that reality. As soon as the Mawlid comes and the month of Mawlid, the Nabi that is, inna fatanaka fatan mubina, the great and clear victory are those whom ignited the love of Sayyidina Muhammad within their heart, right? Now we've talked many times on that surah, Surah 48, Surah Al-Fatah, Inna fatanaka fatan mubina. what is the clear victory? What can be clear victory for Allah is if the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and the light of Sayyidina Muhammad opened within the heart of his creation. And then all the, the four or five verses of the Surat Al-Fat that is a sign of what Allah will give the believer that wash away all their bad from past, wash away all their future badness, clean them, perfect them, keep them on Sirat Al-Mustaqeem which is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad 
We ansurukullahu nasran aziza that Allah I will support your reality with a mighty support. So means then, inna huwa Sulaiman wa inna huwa Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Then awliyaullah come into our life and describe that that inna huwa Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem is the secret and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad that the Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem is the secret and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem is comprised of 19 letters and these are the 19 souls that guard and dress and manifest that reality and that's Muhammad, Ali, Fatima, Hassan and Hussain. These are 19 letters that comprise and and hold the reality of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and all of what comes from no, oceans of knowledges in the reality of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. So it means that that's a question that Allah asked to us. And Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem was not given to any nation because that's the secret and the reality of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad the ismi. In what name of Allah ar-Rahman ar-Raheem opens every reality. And that's why Prophet is the umbrella of that secret that liwal hamd and the one whom is most praised, Muhammad, the one whom is most praised in Divinely Presence and in the Kingdom of Allah and that's the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad that when Allah wants to open in this holy surah, in this holy month, He wants to give the key of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. That now that you're entering into this cave and entering into these lights and entering into these realities, this is the key of all keys. And that's why Mawlana Shaykh would say, Say Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, say Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem 786 times in a day. Say it 21 times in a day or say it three times in a day because this is its power, this is a secret in its number. And that when we understand this reality, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, that I'm asking Ya Rabbi by the secret that you have dressed upon Sayyidina Muhammad <coughs> with that knowledge and with that intention, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, that make everything to open, every door that closed for me, Ya Rabbi. By the power of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Bismika Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem, in this name that Allah has given to you of secrets and realities, by that power, Ya Rabbi, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. And that's why Allah gives that in this surah of the kingdom, the kingdom that was given, the, the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, which its example was Sayyidina Sulaiman commanding the unseen, commanding creatures, commanding the angels, commanding everything for his kingdom. That was only the example of the Muhammadan kingdom that far more powerful. That, that was just a small drop of the reality of the Muhammadan kingdom. That Allah giving that secret of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. When you say Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem you are asking for that reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah the one whom mifta rahmah, the, the key of mercy, the key that opens everything that's closed, the key of all realities. We pray that Allah dress us with it, bless us with these realities and make us to be worthy of its immensities and to be dressed by its, by its immense blessings inshaAllah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Bi Hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi Surat al-Fatiha.